Look at them shakes, made up a dance How come you shook, and I ain't took out my hands Beans, Starbucks Hey what's up, so today is a beautiful day And I'm gonna show you my plant friends Today is actually worrying day as well. So this collection is more from a beginner standpoint. I've only been collecting for one month. When I look back, I just think, why was I late to the party? Like, fam, my mom's had plants, but I've never really, I've never really clocked them until I started collecting my own. Soon I'll have a jungle in it, but enough chitter chat. Let's just get on to the plants. Why you guys came here in it. So just a quick overview. This is what we're working with. And we've got one here chilling as well. So before we get into these guys, let's start off where it all began with these fake plants. Okay, so I got these ones from Paper Tiger, four pounds each, and I really like them, so I just got a bunch of them and then just spread it around the room. This was before the plant vibes got serious, you know? That was just me trying to find my inner plant, you know? Um, because I wasn't really trying to be mindful of plants, I just thought that they looked cute. So I got them a couple years back, and I guess that was my intro to plants. The upkeep, I was I was just so CBA on the research side of it all. And then this right here is a um, fake one as well. Less maintenance. I got this one from the range not so long ago. I think it just adds such, such a forest vibe to it. I got this for like nine quid. I, I want another one. I want another one. Just spread it all around the room. Just, just to complement it more with that jungle fever. <laughs> Man said jungle fever. Okay. Okay. So moving on to the real deal. This was my first plant. So starting with the first plant. This is the plant that just kickstarted it all. I got this on New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Basically a month ago. Isn't it? I forgot what the name of this is called. So if you guys know, please help me. But I just call him Plant Ocean. He's grown so much since I bought him from Audi, man, so... so yeah, just so beautiful, man. 11 quid. 11 quid. Audi's got some steals, fam. When I think of plants, I just like the overflowing aspects of it. I don't... That's what I really look for in a, in a plant. Like, just far out, it can grow. Like, I don't... Is that, is that a characteristic, I guess? The overflow, okay? That, that, that's, that's all I, I call it. But that's the number one thing I look for in a plant. Since I'm new to this, I don't know the names like that. I don't know exactly like the temperature they prefer i don't know if they're like hot temperature in the winter and then room temperature in the summer i just know that they look pretty cute and overflowy uh, i know roughly how much to water them and if they're like direct sunlight or not but i'm, I'm new to this i'm new to this allow me in it. so i'm just like not like the other plant collectors let's um let's feed you be because when you're deeper, yeah, these plants, when you see like a time lapse of them, like they are, they are growing. You know what I'm saying? They are not growing, sorry. They are, they're, like, they're constantly moving. Tell me, tell me they do not have a soul. Tell me they do not have a soul. Man. But yeah, that's why I'm just deeper more lately. Like plants just have souls, man. And some have more souls than people I know. I, I can't lie. But yeah, bless up, Frank. Really helped me kickstart this journey. So, love. Oh, I don't even have um. A watering can, I just used um, this little, little, what do you call it? What, what, <laughs> I used this thing. So this next one fam, Big Up Chef. So this is Erica. Erica is an apple tree. Erica Badu, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hilarious mate. Shout out to my boy Chef. Man really gave me an apple tree, like, that's just so much love fam. I don't know if I'm um, watering this one correctly if i'm ever doing it it seems to be browning on the stem i don't know what that means i just hope you're good i just erica i hope you're good in like how long do apple trees grow an apple tree can be a standard or four size tree which grows to 30 feet and can take up to six years to bear its best fruit okay okay all right it's a journey all right catch me in six years say no bro as i was getting that it's already starting to die off on me man here we have my hedera i got this for five quid at home base and it's seen better days i don't know if i'm giving it enough light or what but at first i put it here but then i clocked it's not really getting enough sunlight so i put it down here but that doesn't seem to be doing anything i don't know what's wrong ah <sighs> fam this is like my first plant l she could still revive because this bit looking green oh as i was saying that it just fell off fam fell off she a project 
I could change you. So her name is Elena. She just gives me Nina Dobre vibes. Elena, I can change you. Nah, you met, I can change you, you know. I don't know why I'm going on it, but what I liked about this is how overflowy it was, which is, again, my top one characteristic. All right, next up, Big Up Sainsbury's. We have a lily plant. It's the only one of mine that came with a vase. Yeah, groovy. I love the overflow. This one doesn't have a name, but she's a lily plant. She kind of looks like a lily, so she looks like a lily fam. She looks like a lily. Ah, there. You have been anointed. And I got this for seven quid. Learning from the mistake of this one where I don't know the details or even the name. I've just kept the tags on for all of my plants from now. Oh, so that's why I also don't really have, I don't really change my pots. I only have the store-bought ones because the store-bought pots, they just give like a homey vibe to it. At first, I really wanted to learn about repotting and just having more aesthetically a pleasing pots, but nah, I just I just let the plant do the talking in it. Regard if you look cold in a store-bought pot, then shit, you cold, you know what I'm saying? Like I can ramble about plants all day, fam. So on the same trip, I bought a Dracaena. So yeah, this is from Sainsbury's. Seven quid. I just like dracaenas in it. They do they, they remind me of like a palm tree. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's so mad how when you put the water on it swallows it up like it's so thirsty, like oh man, that's what I like about plants is that they're like candles, almost furniture, but so much more. Just the souls alone, fam. They just talking to them, tell me they don't have souls, fam. Almost like a pet, but not quite. For me, it just fulfills me because it's something that I'm caring for. I'm, I just strongly believe they have souls in it. So that's, when you care for something like that, it's so much, it's just so much more. Moving on, we have this, what, what, what do you call it? Ficus Alley. We have a Ficus Alley. I bought this from Lidl for five quid. Pick your mouth back up, fam. Five quid. Are you joking, fam? Like, that's a bargain. This one reminds me of a palm tree again. So this one up here, it is a, what do you call it? Cyclamen. So this one I've placed on here, which is it just seems to be like where my plants die because with the Hedera, that's where it used to be chilling. And now this one is just dying on me. So I just need to stop putting plants on that spot in it. But bless up grass for this one. She surprised me with it. When you clock it, yeah, plants are just sick presents, fam. Sick presents, especially low maintenance ones, yeah. This one, I need to, it's kind of dying on me a bit, but that's just because of me. So like, I need to fix up and then Cyclamine, we can, we can get through this, fam. I'm not really inviting to the idea, but Cyclamine, you can, you can change me. I'm just gonna put this one back here in it until I find a new place for it to not die. Finally, the last plant, which is the brother of this one, which is over there. And I feel kind of bad because, because it's just so far away from the rest, I feel like I'm neglecting it. But I promise you, son, I, I love you still. We've got another Dracaena chilling right there. And fam, Dracaena's just so beautiful. All right, so say what's up, little bro. This was again, five quid from Lidl. Please pick your mouth back up. I am serious, fam. Just beautiful, fam. Just, just. So these two are brothers, little bros. So I call these guys Damon and Stefan Salvatore. And I don't know which one's which. But yeah, that is basically my plant collection. So I become more mindful as to what I eat. And this is what I mean by plant friends as well. Treat your food like medicine or you'll eat medicine for food. I'm at that stage where I eat a salad and then immediately munch on cookies after because because it wasn't filling enough which it would have been junk otherwise it would have been junk as well as cookies otherwise so it's still a w for more inspiration check out that chef guy for vegan dishes and a plant-based lifestyle where is my collection now and where do i go from here so currently i am content with my small collection which is difficult because all of my favorite name brands have the most gorgeous plants. B&M, Audi, Homebase, Lidl. I need to stop myself because it's getting to that point where every grocery trip is dangerous. <laughs> it's every, every grocery trip is dangerous. And most of the time, the plants are at the front of the store, so you can't even avoid it. Did you just make this video because you think plants have souls? Because they do, bro. Check how plants move throughout the day and tell me they ain't soulful.
love.